Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be talking about my best kept hair secrets. Are you ready? Let's get this beauty started. My first tip is to not wash your hair every single day. Washing your hair every single day is going to result in dry, brittle hair. Even if you have oily scalp or oily hair, I've heard this a lot when I had clients coming into my studio and they were like, oh, I have to wash my hair every day. It gets so oily, it gets so limp. Try to use a dry shampoo to really soak up that oil, get you to the second or the third day and then wash your hair. For me, depending on what photo shoots I'm doing or what my schedule's like, I always push it to the day three or day four. I know a lot of people are like, day four, oh gosh. And I'm like, well, I really maintain it to whether it's a style, whether I just don't want to be over processing my hair with shampoo and conditioner every single day. Cause I already have vulnerable hair being gray. So if I did that, I would really be dealing with super wiry hair, very unruly hair. So what I do is I do every two to three days depending on, but I don't wash my hair every single day. My second tip is to at least two to three times a month use a deep conditioner. This is going to put the moisture back into your hair. You're really treating your hair. You really need to, just like your skin and just like your body, you have to be really thinking about your hair and what it needs. It's like a workout for your hair. So two to three times a month, I'm always doing a hair mask. So I have a rotation that I do. I have Kirastase. This is almost empty right now. It's a mask intense. Then I have Fido Elixir. This is a intense nutrition mask and they're really thick. And I am not at all stingy with applying it to my my hair they're thick and it's like cake batter on your hair i love it doesn't leave it oily doesn't leave it greasy it just really leaves it very very hydrated and moisturized and this smells amazing i just put it all over my head three minutes five minutes ten minutes depending on how much time i have if sometimes i have more time i'll just get my hair damp and i'll put it in and leave it on for 20 minutes 30 minutes and then what a really interesting product that i use great for blondes great for gray hair silver hair is the shuamora anti-brass purple balm. So this is going to be a brightening treatment also with the hydration. It's super, super pigmented. It's like super, super purple. I mean, look at how purple. It is beautiful. This is like the best treatment, whether it is going to be for moisture or brightening for your hair if you are silver, gray, or blonde. My third tip is to not wash your hair with super hot water. You want to do lukewarm water or you wanna do a cool rinse after because it's the same thing with the body. If you're doing a really, really hot shower, you're going to dehydrate the skin. So your skin's gonna be left dull, irritated, dry. Same thing when you're doing super hot water and washing your hair. So always remember lukewarm and then do a cool rinse after. My fourth tip is to not comb your hair or brush your hair when it's wet. So your hair is at its most vulnerable when it's wet. So you don't want to have split ends. You don't want to create any damage or any breakage. So if you do feel like you want to, you know, comb your hair, or brush it, I would say to use a wide tooth comb like this and go from the bottom up. So it doesn't put a lot of pressure on your hair. You are being able to comb it. Maybe you put on a certain product that you want to distribute throughout your hair. This is great to use a wide tooth comb, but don't brush your hair when it's wet. My fifth tip is to brush your hair before you go to bed. So this is a really wonderful way to distribute those scalp oils and get your hair really nice and beautifully shiny. It gives you that scalp stimulation. I use my Mason Pearson brush, which was an investment. This is something that I did want to invest in. I comb my hair before I go to bed and then I put on Kirastase. This is an eight hour magic night serum. This is for dry hair. So I do a couple pumps in my on my hand and then I distribute it into my hair. It's not heavy. It's not weighty. It's just like this beautiful serum that works overnight for me. I'm very big into products that work at night while I'm sleeping. So this is an eight hour serum that really hydrates the hair. You wake up with your hair looking beautiful. I highly recommend putting in a serum before you go to bed. My sixth tip is don't go to sleep with your hair tied up in a bun or tie tight in a ponytail, let it go out loose. And if you feel like you do want to have your hair kind of back or you like to tie it away, that's just the way you like to do it. Use a silk scrunchie. So these are wonderful for being soft and gentle on the hair. You're not tying it back too tight. That could create breakage. That could create a lot of stress on the hair. So invest in a silky scrunchie and you can tie your hair back and then you can have your fabulous Z's. My seventh tip is to massage the shampoo into your scalp when you're washing your hair. So instead of just taking your shampoo and just taking it on and just kind of 
doing the hair itself, go to the scalp and really massage in that shampoo. You're going to have that circulation, that blood flow. We really want to get the scalp clean because that is one thing that you don't want to have building up with product because of the follicle. You want to have a healthy scalp. You really need to get in there with the shampoo and really stimulate that scalp and really get it clean. My eighth tip is to dry your hair with a microfiber towel. So when you get out of the shower, you're going to just put on a microfiber towel instead of using a regular towel and towel drying your hair. Because if you rub your hair together with the towel, you're going to create breakage could possibly have split ends. You're going to have knots. It's a lot of drama that doesn't need to happen when you can just put on a microfiber towel. It pulls all of that moisture out of your hair. It's the best way. It's super gentle and you're not damaging your hair. My ninth tip is to take a break from the heat. Don't blow dry your hair, air dry your hair. I know it's a very big trend coming up for summer 2022 to let your hair naturally dry. I love this concept. I've done it multiple times. My hair does not, it does not participate in this air drying. If it was longer, I think it would, but as a bob, it is like all over the place. My hair definitely needs to be controlled. I do have to take the blow dryer or the styler and really work with my hair, but air drying your hair is a wonderful, if your hair can handle it and you like the style and it's like tousled and it's really relaxed and it looks really beautiful. It's a great way to give your hair a break from all of that heat. My 10th tip is going to be kind of multifaceted here. I have a very big love for a salt scrub for the scalp. That is going to really clean the scalp. It's going to keep the health of the scalp. It feels incredible when you use salt scrub. All of my recommendations will be listed below this video. When you really work it into the scalp, you're never gonna have great hair if you don't have a healthy scalp. So with that said, after I do my exfoliation on my scalp, I'm going to be using my hair serums. I use one or the other, but I have two different ones that I really have loved using over the years. Kirastas has an advanced scalp and hair concentrate, and then they also have one that's a scalp and hair serum. Two different formulations, they do two different things that I kind of rotate with, but I've tended to stay with the advanced scalp and hair concentrate. I just separate my hair, and I put it in my hair and really want to have that health of my scalp. So I'm always supporting with serums. And then something that I wanted to mention when I talked about doing the moisture treatments two to three times a month, using something as a pre-shampoo treatment is a real game changer. I had partnered with Philip Kingsley last fall and was introduced to the elasticizer. This is a pre-shampoo treatment. So you damp, you get your hair damp before, and then you put this on in sections. You put a shower cap on your head and you leave it on for 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Some people leave it on overnight. This is the biggest game changer if you're dealing with dry, dehydrated hair, lackluster hair, and you want that bounce, you want that hydration into your hair. This is for fine, medium, and coarse hair. So it adds elasticity and balance Bounce, and it does. So my pictures came out beautiful when I was doing this partnership. I was like, oh my gosh, this is the best product. And a fun fact is that this was created for Audrey Hepburn. So this product has history to it. It is tried and true. It does what it says it's going to do. I have like three quarters left and I'm like, okay, I have to buy two at a time just because I never want to run out because it does do an amazing job. And it's interesting because it's a pre-shampoo and then you rinse it out and then you shampoo and conditioner. So that is something that really does change the game for your hair, makes it look beautiful. I hope you enjoyed these tips. I hope they help you with getting that beautiful, glossy, shiny, manageable hair. And until my next video, I'll see you later.